Hi, my name is Jago Pereira and I'm the director of Iranti Org um, in Southern Africa. Iranti is a Yoruba word which means memory and we are very much focused on creating, building and preserving um, queer vernaculars. Yeah. South Africa has enjoyed a democracy for the past 90 years and in this time there are some people that have certainly not enjoyed the rights that have been set out in South Africa's constitution. Screaming, some they saw what happened. They were like, No, this is wrong, this is hate crime because this what you did now is because of their sexuality and everything. After I don't know, then they, they chased me outside. Then I told them, Okay, I'm working here, and then what must I do? They just pulled me and grabbed me, hitting me. The other one was grabbing me here by the trout that they told. Mm. She said, I passed out because I don't know, I can't remember anything. I wake up and I was in hospital. Iranti Org was formed by concerned black lesbians, transgender and gender non-conforming activists within South Africa and Southern Africa. We increasingly felt that what we were feeling on the basis of our gender identity was pushing us more into the margins of silence and fear. And we believed that we could no longer live in this particular way. We simply had to take a lead in breaking the silence. ensuring that homophobia and transphobia became part of the human rights agenda within Southern Africa. Iranti Org was formed as a media documentation and human rights platform. Here, we as LGBTI persons report on human rights violations. <laughs> Iranti Org in Kuruman currently that they are busy with a documentary you know like mm. we all know last year they were in Kuruman to document you know the funeral of Tapela Makuta as well as the memorial services they came back this year our media advocacy is more than reporting on abuses we are not victims we are agents of change in our model we ensure that our human rights documentation enters platforms where decisions occur Iranti Org creates spaces of common actions for LGBTI persons. No to hate crimes against LGBTI people in South Africa. Yeah. Ooh, baby, baby, the stars are shining, baby, baby, this world is full of pain. And their useless ways. There's people dying everywhere. Can someone tell me who's to blame? There never used to be this much attention to security until the terror and catastrophe. Now there's guns and war machines. Our model of addressing these inequalities 
is to ensure that we remember that we have to do our battles from where we are standing. And from where we are standing, we stand on an unequal platform. From this platform, we know that despite inequalities related to issues such as the digital divide, where the North have greater resources to broadband than the South. However, this is our platform and we must amplify our voices. We must be heard as a collective agency in our fight for justice. My name is Tibonge Chimbalanga, original from Malawi. Mm -hmm. Yes, shortcut, anti TT, people call me anti TT. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's journalist to come to um, wedding for me, huh? me and Steve de Mondes, writing a. Uh, one of them journalists questioned Mr. Steve de Mondes. Steve, you are gay? And yes, because Steve is not going to school, no. So, the question, another question comes to Auntie Tong. Auntie Tong, you is a gay or you gay or straight? So me no answering. No, me, no, it's not a question for me. Yes, so journalists is writing history, everything, yes. Yeah. Auntie, we um, journalists, newspaper, writing everything. Yeah. Auntie, Monday, two o'clock, police come to wake for my office for me, Jen Makomaroji, to arrested me and we are not a global organization, we are not a super well resourced organization, but we are an organization that believes in vision and believes that social change is possible. We are in the process of upscaling our media advocacy work and for the first time in the African continent we want to realize the vision of creating the first LGBT online radio platform. From this platform we want to ensure that our Southern African partners and comrades from other LGBTI organizations are able to join us in reporting on human rights abuses within their respective countries. Through a radio platform, they can do this anonymously, they can do this with the protection of us hosting their work and their media advocacy from South Africa. We want to live in a country that translates its human rights from its constitution into a human rights reality. Thank you.